Welcome back, dogs. Captain Gallon and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Over the weekend, we had our boy Los crowned as the homecoming king. Now we can sit at the big table with me. And also shout out to Sarah Flores for winning the queen. Attention seniors, cap and gown and tassel is $53.87. Be sure to stop by the main office and see Mrs. Rennick if you still need to order. Ivy Tech will be coming on January 22nd from 10 to 10.30. Make sure to sign up in student services. Now to pole vault for sports. Good morning, dogs, and welcome back to school after a long, long weekend, especially for me. I haven't been to school since last Wednesday. Man, I had really thought we were going to have a two-hour delay today. It's been cold outside. We've got a lot of action over the weekend, so let's hop right into the action. On Friday night, in a doubleheader against the Western Boone Stars, the Lady Hot Dogs started off the night well offensively with 13-point first quarter, and we were able to take the lead going into halftime. 20 to 19. The team's ball movement gave them a lot of scoring opportunities as well as getting multiple layups off Western Boone's de defensive pressure. In the scoring column, they were led by Vanessa Guardardo with 12, and off the glass, the team was led by Vanessa again and Syra, who both had nine rebounds. The ladies unfortunately couldn't close the game out and ended up losing in an exciting game with a score of 36 to 49. After the Lady Hot Dogs played, the boys took on the Stars. The boys came out with some fire after the girls lost as they came out and battled hard against the Stars, winning four quarters of play with a score of 49-37. to 37. That's actually crazy because that was almost the exact same score as the girls. Sir Kai Kirby, who's here in the studio with me, had an absolute dominant weekend as he was the leading scorer with 22 Friday night. Congrats to the boys on their Friday night homecoming and 500th win in Case Arena. It was a historic night. But don't fret, the history does not stop there. Saturday night, the night that everyone's been waiting for. More than 5,000 people there. The blue chips night was crazy. Tons and tons and tons of people there, including the GOAT, Anthony C. Hall, who popped out to show some love for blue chips. It was an incredible night. The Dolphin Dome, formerly known as Case Arena, was a packed house covered in blue and yellow and what made it so much better was that the Western Dolphins took the W against the Indiana Hoosiers. <laughs> kind of like how IU lost to Purdue last night. Blowout by the way. The score on the night was 54 to 39 and like I said Kirby had a dominant weekend as he had 28 that game. 22 and then 28? Now that's wild. So huge congrats to Kai and the varsity team. Man what a weekend it was. And to wrap things up, last night the Lady Hot Dogs have been in action a lot recently as they took on county rival opponent the Clinton Prairie Gophers in what started out as a great night. The Lady Hot Dogs were involved in a close nip and tuck game. I saw multiple lead changes in the second half and for the second game straight the Lady Hot Dogs were leading at halftime. They had a big game from Vanessa Guardardo as she led all scorers in the game with 26 points. Vanessa straight up going off out here. On the glass, they had Vanessa with 12 rebounds. That secured her a double-double on the night, and Syra Flores had 11. Unfortunately, the ladies couldn't close out the game, and they fell to the Gophers 41-44. to These games are just nail-biters. That win is coming soon, ladies. Congrats to all teams that played over this long, long weekend. It was fun. And to wrap things up on the morning, the, lady, the Frankfurt High School cheerleaders will be hosting their annual basketball puppy power cheer clinic this Saturday, January 20th. The clinic will be held at Blue Ridge and Green Meadows from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Sign-in will begin at 8.30 a.m. The performance will be on Saturday evening, January 20th, during the halftime of the boys' basketball game here at Frankfurt High School in the Case Arena. Get a bunch of people out to this game to support Frankfurt's future cheerleaders. Well, I believe that'll conclude today's announcements finally. Hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday, and we'll see everyone tomorrow. Now, we'll be setting it off to weather. 
Welcome back, hot dogs. Today, high is going to be 24 and low is going to be 3. There is a wind chill uh, advice for these conditions. We're expecting to last to a 9 a.m. This afternoon, there will be a few flurries or a snow showers. Make sure you stay warm and have a nice day. For lunch, for, for lunch today, in lines 1 and 2, is chicken snack wrap. And lines 3 and 4, is salad bar with chicken and rice soup. And happy birthday goes out to Caden Hodgins, Cameron Queen, and Gabriela Sanchez. And that's all for today's announcements. Make sure to have a wonderful Wednesday.